All right, so they recently put out the footage of the Uvalde shooting at Robb Elementary School. So we're going to take a look and see how the police officers did. All right, May 24th, surveillance video shows elementary. The gunman in the crash vehicle fought, then fires three shots at two men who approached the crash scene. Let's see, well, teacher called 911 to report the gunman. Okay. The kids are running. Yikes, man, it's got to be terrifying in there. Oh my God. Whew. The gunman begins shooting at the school from the parking lot. Oh, so he's letting it rip from out there. He's not playing no games. Get down. Get get in your rooms. Get in your rooms. Okay, so the teachers are doing their job. Bystander video captures the gunman entering the school. Oh, okay, they got the footage footage. Oh, we got inside the school. Okay. Gunman enters the school. Oh, he's looking. All right. Yeah, come on, man. That school, that front door should be locked. There's no reason for that to be open. Not at this time. Young student comes around the corner as the gunman walks down the hall. Oh, shit, dude, go back, girl, go back. Oh, he got up out of there. Oh, that dude got some parents. His instincts kicked in. He got up out of there. Gunman fires his AR-15 inside two classrooms. Ooh, thought he said 100 rounds of fire. Yikes. Okay, they're the police. Okay, they just here three minutes later. Oh, this is three minutes. Some officers rush towards the classroom. All right, go get dude. Hey, are they trying to figure out what classroom he's in? What are we doing? Oh, maybe they're securing the perimeter. Maybe there's some like... There's only one gunman. Maybe this is protocol. It might be protocol. I'm not sure. This might be protocol. All right, now. We wasting a lot of time now. Four minutes later. Take cover. Oh, hell nah. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. They backed out? 19 minutes later? Oh, see, you see, you see, you see, 31 minutes late. All right, they doing way. All right, bro, bro, come on now. Come on now. Y'all supposed to go up in there, you see. These folks ain't want no smoke. See, they know that AR-15, that's those 556 bullets, man. They know they going right through all of that. Oh, wow. This has been 30 odd minutes later. Dude probably done killed so many kids since then. Dude's is chilling 57 minutes later. Buddy cleaning his hands. Buddy cleaning his hands. He got the hand sanitizer. Oh, Lord. Oh, he on his phone. He checking messages. 77 minutes later, officers breached the classroom and killed a gunman. Oh, now y'all want to come out. He got to tell him to chill now. Oh, now when dude is dead, now everybody want to be the hero. Oh, nah. These dudes are punks. Wow. They were capping. Acting like they did everything they possibly could. Man, these dudes... Yo, man, the parents need to sue Uvalde Police Department. What? Y'all see dude check his phone? I don't know what he was looking at. Was he looking at some messages? Was it like, was he looking at an app? Was he playing a game? Like, what? They had one cop checking his phone. The other cop, he was posted on the wall checking his phone. Another dude, he felt like his hands were dirty, so he went to go clean them up. What? But if these were real cops... And they were really supposed to do their job. Man, they would have bust right through there. And they would have went in and killed that gunman right away. They waited 57 minutes? What? You know what? It sounds like to me all those cops, they were thinking about one thing and one thing only. They were thinking about their pension. They know they only got to put like, what, 20 years on the force? And they eligible for, what, 75% of their salary? 
and they don't got to work no more. I'm telling you right now, man, these cops ain't trying to lose their lives. They look at this, they look at this police job as a hustle. They look at this as a gig. Like, you know what? If I put in these 20 years, I'm gonna be set for life. None of these cops wanted no smoke. They had the armor on, they had the ballistic shields. As soon as they probably found out he had an AR-15, they was like, oh no, we good, we good, we good. And the nerve, the nerve, the nerve for dude to come out. I think it was like six, seven of them. Once they said the gunman was killed, then everybody wants to come in. <laughs> like, bro, even I think it might have been like the sergeant or the colonel, one of them. He had to tell them like, yo, chill, 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 chill. We don't need y'all now. That is crazy. That is crazy, bro. 57 minutes. I thought them folks would have been in there like within two minutes in. The moment they were there three minutes after he started shooting, they should have busted in through that door and took him out right away. What? That's what they trained to do. That's what they're supposed to be there for. They're supposed to protect and they're supposed to serve this country. Look like the only thing they're trying to serve is themselves, man. Man, Uvalde Police Department got some explaining to do. I don't see how they can make it past this one. Not when this footage came out, this leaked. And it, they got it from inside the classroom, too. Inside the, um, not the classroom, inside the hallway. So you could really see what was really going on. It's not like we're getting secondhand or thirdhand accounts and we're, you know, looking from the outside of the school. Nah. Bruh. I know this money can't really bring back these kids' lives, but these parents are in for a payday. They're in for a payday. Lawyers should be licking their chops because they're looking like, oof, the settlement money that's going to come from this, especially with this video coming out, it's out of there. Out of there. Man, Uvalde Police Department. Shame, shame, shame. But yeah, man. That's my take on this conversation, man. Like if you want to. Comment if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.